Hello. This past week, I had a lot of things to do in West Hollywood, and mainly because it's that one area of LA where I don't really get to photograph often. I thought I'd bring my camera over there. I had a few places on my list to photograph. Some I've been to before, and some just brand new. But when I got there, I couldn't really bring myself to take any good photos or any photos in general. I went to some places that I like to see if this sparks any creativity, but that just did not happen. I was frustrated because I wanted to take a lot of photos, but only came back with a few. So because I'm approaching the first anniversary of my channel, I decided to watch my very first video. Not gonna lie, it was kind of cringy. <laughs> Anyways, I ended up watching the very first five videos, and I found out that I spent a lot of time photographing downtown LA. And I thought it would be a fun idea to recreate some of the images that I took about a year ago. I've taken a few photos similar to this style, where the sunlight is hitting the crosswalk, and you can clearly see the people crossing the street. Something that I realized is that I love taking photos like this. Very simple, very minimal, and all the photos I love taking and also love looking at involve some kind of sunlight. I personally am not a fan of studio lighting, and I think me living in LA right now with this amazing amount of sunlight we get almost every day, I really try my best to utilize that. So combining all of that, photos like this, they really define what I love taking photos of and what I'm also good at. Something I wanted to try on this day was to photograph the perspective of the person I'm photographing. So here, we have a guy waiting for the light to turn green, and while he's waiting, he's looking at all the cars drive by. This I think could have been a little more dramatic if I shot from the bottom and you can see more of the building and maybe even the sky. But that also means you don't really get to see what he's really looking at, which is cars over here. I wanted to include this bit of the video here because one of my favorite things to do after taking photos is to look at the images that I just took as I'm walking away from my subject. Two things with that. Number one, it just feels good to know that something I had in my head came out perfectly. And the second thing, if I messed up, at least I can go back right away and try to take another one. Because there have been so many moments where I just take a picture and walk away and when I get home later that day, I look at the picture and I go, to prevent that from happening, and also to get that instant satisfaction. I love doing this. This is quite blurry, but I've always wanted to take a photo like this. There are so many photographers that I follow who are in London and New York, and a lot of them love taking photos of the passengers through the bus or the train windows, and I've always wanted to take something like that. Although this is not through the window or the door, the fact that I was able to catch something similar to it, just a passenger waiting for the bus to go, pretty happy with this. It's not perfect, it's not even in focus, but the light and the composition, they're good enough for me. The thumbnail of my very first video is from here. If you follow me on Instagram, I take photos and video of this wall quite often. But because I think I kind of overdid it, I've been avoiding this. On this date, because I did come here for my very first video, I wanted to revisit it and see what else I can photograph there. Oh good. I am so sad about this picture. Red walls, perfect. This man in black sweater, perfect. And his white hair with sunglasses? Are you kidding me right now? Such a good picture. Or at least the things in the photo 
are perfect. But again, it's not in focus. It's not even like I took this in a hurry. I don't know why I couldn't take my time to really focus on the man. But still, I love it. I took a picture of this from a Wes Anderson video. Wow, this is not aligned at all. And taking a picture of this place kind of felt weird. Mainly because I don't think this is something that I would take pictures of. Maybe for Instagram? But it's interesting how a theme that I have for a video really changes my perspective and allows me to photograph places and things that I wouldn't normally take pictures of. I know this picture was not gonna happen, mainly because I don't think the vendors here enjoy being photographed. I could always ask for a picture and the worst thing that's gonna happen is them saying no. But I wanted something natural. The owner of the stall never got in my frame, but this is what I was waiting for. I wanted a picture of her looking at me through all the items and maybe smiling at me. Yeah, that didn't happen and even if I wanted to ask, she was somewhere else. So welcome to another episode of me learning a little more about myself through my own photos. When I lived in other cities, whether that be Seoul, New York, Chicago, anywhere, I loved taking cityscape pictures at night. In the last two years of me being in LA, I think I've taken photos like this once. I just never thought about doing that. A part of me always said, LA is not that photogenic, especially at night. I thought LA does not have a distinct skyline, which is not true, they do have it. And because I think I didn't feel at home in LA just yet, is that a sentence? I never thought about taking photos like this. But on this day, this felt like a really good nostalgic picture to take. Not to mention the cyclists on the bottom. I like that. <laughs> 